That's not. It sounds like we're sitting up here defending this guy. We don't know. All don't right. Know. Don't don't know at all. And that's the other bigger thing because, you know, when we say we don't know, we don't know. I just don't. Again, don't like the. Don't. I just don't like somebody putting out baseless accusations. But if it does come out that he did it, see, that's the problem. Everybody, and I said this before, everybody just wants to say, I told you so. Mm -hmm. A very popular streamer that some of you might not or may know of, Martin, I think this person might be new to you. But I'm going to tell you about him. He's brand new. But a very popular streamer out there who can't seem to stay out of the wrong kind of news mm. is one Dr. Disrespect right here. Uh, you know, and uh, he's so popular that now he's uh, making news on Sports Illustrated. Really? Yeah, yeah, which we will. A lot of streamers are actually making mainstream news, hopefully for better news than what he has lately. But we'll talk about that in a, in, a, in a little bit later. Let me get you familiar. For people like Martin out there, let me get you familiar with the, well, I would say good doctor, but that's not going to apply. <laughs> he goes by a lot of names. He's known as Dr. Disrespect. He also calls himself the two-time because he's the two-time video blockbuster video game winner from 1993 and 1994. Ah, because I read that Sports Illustrated article and I was like, this thing is full of typos. And especially <laughs> it just kept saying the two-time. I was like, the two-time what? <laughs> well... Let's just say that each one of his names has worked against him. <laughs> okay. Dr. Disrespect, two time. I mean, this is the wrong time to have those names, man. <laughs> you got to, listen, you got to be careful how you name yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, you talk about being a character. Because I'm going to tell you something with, the, with let me let me just go ahead and get you familiar with this man right yeah, here. Yeah, please. So this is the doctor right here. You know, I, now I'm going to tell you. I got to know him when I was first signing on to Twitch. You know, when we got started here, I was signing a contract with Twitch. And I remember the person that was signing me on, that was kind of like, you know, somebody that you should really follow and learn from is Dr. Disrespect. Boy, that was the wrong <laughs> advice. If I followed him, I <laughs> he's, he's popular. Shit, that, the shit he's done would have put me in jail. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, I was like, wow. Out of all the people you told me to listen to, this man right here <laughs> is the one everybody's saying, you don't want to be him right now. Mm. Did you feel that way at the time? No, actually, it was, you know, he was, the way he marketed himself. See, that's the thing. This guy, you know, he's a he's a gaming streamer who is very marketing savvy. You know, he plays a character with a very unique look. You know, as you can see right here, he looks like your racist uncle or a NASCAR announcer. Yeah. <laughs> or both. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh and, you know, there's there's always something going on with this guy. And it's always controversial and it's usually not very good. You know, the, the, the joke with him is that he's starting to commit to this Dr. Disrespect character way too much. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, you can't be called Dr. Disrespect and then do some disrespectful shit. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's in the name. That's your, yeah, exactly. You don't want to be that character. Not in real life. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, I mean, listen, you know, because the shit that you've done, they always going to use it. To, it's, it's either going to it's going to it's going to work against you with the accusations of people. Just It's just too convenient for a joke. Mm -hmm. Like they said, damn, he's so disrespect. He, he's lived up to that name disrespect so hard that he disrespected his marriage. Oh, yeah. He, hence the unfortunate name two times. <laughs> right. <laughs> Watch how you give yourself some names. <laughs> Hey, I'm Dr. Piece of Shit. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was his subconscious trying to, yeah. trying, trying to confess. Yeah, man. He, he be, you know, he knew he was going to be a future supervillain. <laughs> so. so he just grew into it. <laughs> You're like Mr. Freeze or somebody. <laughs> Mr. Disrespect. <laughs> no, nah, man. He uh, And this is me not judging him, all right? This is not me, because we're going to get into what he did in a little bit. This is not me trying to make him look bad. I'm just saying... You know, like I, like I said, to have the name Dr. Disrespect and playing that character, you know, that shit's become a little bit too real at this point. And uh, a lot of these things have been used against him. Like he did get online and admit to cheating on his wife mm. and, you know, did the whole thing. He got up there talking about how remorseful he was, start bringing on the tears. You know, I'm sorry. 
as you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid. I've been unfaithful. And, and trying to pluck that mustache, bring the tears. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing, he has a hat on called Loyal to the Land. <laughs> his, his wife is not the land. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, there's other controversies out there with him. You know, they you can find a list of his controversies, you know, racist remarks against a, a, an Asian musician or, you know, perceived or alleged racist remarks. Uh, he was banned for streaming in a public bathroom, which is a big no, no for Twitch. So, he was, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was like a convention or something. And the he TwitchCon, had, right? Yeah. He had someone following him with the camera. He's like, yeah, come on. He just walked into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. And people have memed that to death. Yeah. But the most talked about uh, controversy you know, until recently, is him getting a, a permanent ban from Twitch. And, you know, because there's never been an explanation for it. A lot of it, mystery around that. Yeah, very, uh, very much a lot of mystery about, uh, about that. One day he was just banned from Twitch and Twitch wouldn't say why. He wouldn't say why. And to this day, no one knew. Well, until yesterday with some, again, uh, uh, accusations and people, you know, allegedly saying that he did something. Uh, this is from the Sports Illustrated article right here in it's Esports Illustrated. So uh, they have him talking about he's responding to rumors that he sexted a minor. And this is the ugly one. This is the ugliest rumor yet. You know, he was banned for texting a, a minor uh, and the allegation is being made by supposedly a, a former Twitch employee. He said, I don't work for y'all no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't got to do shit. I can say everything I want to do. NDA. You know, so now, this is the Twitch where this guy, Cody Connors, made the accusation. And you have another guy right here saying it too. Jake Lucky, a former Twitch employee, has come forward and stated the alleged reason for Dr. Disrespect's permanent Twitch ban is for sexting a minor in the previous Twitch Whispers product. And that's what this guy Cody says. He got banned because he got caught sex in a minor in the Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Now, Dr. Disrespect came back and he said, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. Uh, and a lot of people saying, OK, so this is why you have a lawyer speak for you, because it's, you know, him saying he got paid out and everything was settled. Somebody responded, I don't think you're doing yourself any favors with this comment right here, which, yeah, it's it's. Again, I would just shut up. I wouldn't say anything. I would let my lawyers or whoever come in and do the talking for me or I would very much watch my wording. But but I I'm not here to really talk about. These accusations in as much as the reactions to the accusation because i again it's just the, another case of the internet being the internet so you know i don't know how y'all feel about this but we're going to talk about it i know we're gonna we're gonna share this with you and we'd love to hear your response on that before we get into it let's all just sit down and have a nice cup of coffee so we can be reasonable about this right here, you know and let's pull up some, i got some kato's coffee on the pot right here fresh mm. fresh for y'all how's that mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. you know what i got a bag of it right okay. here just in case and let I me smell to, it yeah can you smell it i'm glad you say that because i just people we got to give a word out to our sponsor just real quick and i'm not gonna lie to you i do this sometimes uh, there's so many pouches of coffee in here, and the reason why I haven't opened them is because I just like to smell this yeah, bag it's, it's right nice here. Yeah, nice to smell. Yeah, smell that right there. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> yeah that no. does smell like good coffee. No, it really is. I already had a couple of pouches of this. I don't even drink coffee all that much, but this is great. But I'm just sitting up here just smelling this half the time. I love it. Kato's Coffee. It's premium coffee roasted to order, ensuring that you get the freshest cup of coffee possible, which means that it travels straight from the roaster right to your doorstep. If coffee's not your thing, they also have teas, too, that you can try. And Kato's Coffee is named after this handsome guy right here. That is Kato's. So Kato's Coffee is pet-friendly and planet-friendly. 
and they're supporting animal welfare. <laughs> Kato's like, I drink this all the time. <laughs> Kato said, you can come and get it too. <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> Kato's like, damn, Kato's is doing a spread right here, man. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Hey, oh, oh, this old thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come for the coffee, stay for the dog, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pet friendly and pet planet friendly. And so, you know what, while you're there, Go ahead and get some merch for your best friend, your pooch over there. You know, they got a pet bowl, bandana you can put on your, your dog. Or your cat. I don't know. They're not, they, they're not racist over here. And, uh, and as I said, you know, you'll feel good knowing that they're doing a positive thing for animals out there and the environment. Uh, shop online and find more. And, hey, listen, before you go shopping, let us... Let's get you a little discount. You know, we good with them. You know, tell them, tell them, tell them double toast sent you. <laughs> Go to katoscoffee.com and use the code TOASTED for 5% off your entire order. As I said, it's very good. Even before it hits your taste buds, your nose is telling you it's great coffee. So try that. And I want to thank Kato's Coffee for sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. Now, to get into my opinion of this, uh, you know, I was reading all the comments on this and, you know, y'all doing it again. You know, this because uh, I'm listen, I'm not here to judge this man's past. Uh, you know, I'm here to talk about the nature of the Internet. And there's so many people talking like like they do, like they know something mm -hmm. like y'all were there. Like you saw you saw the act. You know, there's not an accusation. You were there to witness it firsthand, you know, and, and there's so many people who are saying that he's guilty without any proof whatsoever. And I'm not here defending him. I'm not here accusing him. I'm just saying without, you know, there's people up there putting all these allegations up and people are rallying around him saying, yeah, I knew he was a creep. Yeah, I, I knew he, I knew, he, I know he did that. Of course he did that. He's an asshole. Yeah. You know, and, it's just, and, and you, I'm sure it's peppered in some, I never liked him anyway. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, they're his biggest fans. They were there from the beginning. Oh, man, I always knew. The only reason I watched, I was making sure he was going to do something wrong. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to warn y'all. I knew it. I you thought know. he was great at first, but then I fell off. Yeah, you know, man, I, people, man, people hate it when you try to be fair, because we about to catch hell now. At least I am, you know, because I know how y'all feel. But I'm feeling like, hey, man, you know, uh, I don't like to go by just allegations, bring in some proof, as they say, bring in the receipts and all that kind of stuff. Nobody has anything. It's just, it's just the guy saying this. Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this and people are like, you know, they, that's what always happens. Not only do, do, do people get mad at us for defending them, but people come in. I've actually had people, I've seen people say, oh man, there y'all go being fair. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> Why are you looking at both sides? <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, you know it's it. it look, look, if it's proven that he did it, okay. I, I'm not trying to win an argument. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be proven right. You know, I, I, I'm just. I, I just find this scary, because yeah, the guys did a lot of things that he could very well have done it. I don't know, but I'm not gonna sit up here and and, and say say that somebody is guilty until proven innocent. That's well, not how it works. Well, Corey, what do you need for proof? Because you already have the word of a disgruntled ex-employee. <laughs> well, see, I don't Shouldn't even, that be enough? Yeah, I, I, don't know if the, I don't know if the employee is disgruntled. I don't know what happened. You know, I'm not gonna even make those allegations. I don't know what, I don't know what this employee, maybe the employee does know. I mean, if he does, then cool. The but, only thing that's ever really bothered me about him that is for sure is that he shouted out so uh, this guy named David Icke or something like mm -hmm. that, who's an anti-Semitic author. Mm -hmm. Like he was like pushing his yeah. book. And that's what they were saying was one of the reasons why he had that falling out on Twitch because it breached the contract. It's like, you're not supposed to promote certain things. That makes sense. Yeah, it did. And see, and, and that's the thing because I, I, there's so many weird things going on with this. Again, maybe he did. I don't know, maybe he didn't. I, I just sit back and say, hey, look, I'm not gonna just trust the word of somebody who just makes an accusation because that is scary to me. That means that could happen to anybody. If you drop the right words, mm -hmm. minor, pedophile, sexting, sexual assault. You know, if anybody drops the right buzzwords, all of a sudden that gets people all riled up and then all, you know, everybody thinks that they, some people think that they, they have no choice but to 
say that person's guilty because it makes you look bad if you try to say they're innocent. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you must be a pedophile too if you defending him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not how that should go, man. If that could happen, imagine that being able to happen to anyone. All right, that's why I don't like that kind of thing because it's, you know, it has nothing to do with this guy personally. That's just a scary thing to happen. And also, you know, you have to look at some of the bigger picture here. Again, maybe he did it, I don't know. But if he did and Twitch paid him off, that would look bad for them. And again, maybe it does. Maybe they did do that. I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? I just don't like to no, accuse anybody. It's it's a messy and weird situation, but that, that ex-Twitch employee, if he's going to make that accusation, show us screenshots of the Whisper. Because already, just the fact that he's saying that Dr. Disrespect was using the Whisper system, it's like, wow, he's the only one. <laughs> that's the, it's a, Seriously, it's the texting system that's on Twitch. Nobody uses it. I bet if Corey went and looked at it, it would be filled to the brim. Like, what does that even mean? Like, sexting with a minor? It's like, is it someone underage messaging him and he never responded? Because mm -hmm. that's how I imagine a lot of these streamers are. They probably have hundreds of messages in their whispers there. Well, also mm -hmm. a thing where, uh, you know, instructions to uh, meet at TwitchCon or wherever, that could easily be uh, just promotion of, well, I'm going to be at TwitchCon at this table. If you get a chance, stop by. Something you would say to anybody yeah. who, who messaged you. Uh, I'm not defending this guy. I didn't even know who he was till this afternoon, till you mentioned him in our, in our text. Uh, so I hate always coming off like I'm defending because I'm not. I'm like you. I'm more defending the, the right to, you know, not, not have everything destroyed off of a, a casual allegation. Because, you know, I say disgruntled and all that. I mean, I don't know if this guy's that ex-employee is a disgruntled, but it's super easy to say, well, this was done on this thing that doesn't exist anymore. That's like I got a girlfriend in Canada. You wouldn't know her. Um, yeah, you know, to say like, oh, man, that guy used to talk to underage girls. Yeah, you got the text. It was on Live Journal. I was like, well, that's gone. How, how can that possibly be yeah. proved? You can say anything you want about anybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as far as because I know I read one of the comments where he was saying there was no wrongdoing found and and somebody was like, well, that, that doesn't say there was no wrongdoing. And it's like, OK, that doesn't mean the wrongdoing was sex in a minor, though. It, it could have been it could have been the thing you were talking about mm -hmm. uh, yeah. or it could have just been something where where Twitch, you know, was just like this is not working out. And he's like, yeah, but you still got to pay me. And they well, went back and forth on that, you know, which you would have to get lawyers for. And then. Is done. Yeah, and, and that's not unusual. They, they yeah. you know, back when Mixer was around, if anybody remembers that, they had, they had a couple of big because that's what they were doing. They were going after big streamers, and as you know, Mixer didn't last long. And when they had to get rid of the, you know, everybody, you know, the people they had contracts they, with, they said, "Pay me." <laughs> you know, that's how it was. It's like yeah. they got paid out for, you know, for for the for the little time that they were there without having to fulfill their full contract. Now again. That's not. It sounds like we're sitting up here defending this guy. We don't know. All don't right. Know. Don't don't know at all. And that's the other bigger thing because, you know, when we say we don't know, we don't know. I just don't. Again, don't like the. Don't. I just don't like somebody putting out baseless accusations. But if it does come out that he did it, see, that's the problem. Everybody, and I said this before. Everybody just wants to say, "I told you so." Mm -hmm. You know, everybody or, or everybody's. You know, either uh, you either agree with my, with with me being mad. Or you must be on his side, you know, or, or you you must be somebody who's diddling children, too, or something. You know, it's like, are you guilty, too? You know, it's like, it's not that. Not that at all. I mean, go ahead. And that's what makes you happy. You, you know, you're missing the whole point. Right. You know, let no one has any kind of empathy anymore. No one is able to put themselves in somebody else's position. No one's able to look, able to look at the bigger picture. That is a dangerous thing. If somebody can come on, that's some witch hunt shit. You know, that's you come out and just point a finger and say they did it. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah, you did without any proof at all. It shouldn't be like that. This guy probably does know something. But until further proof, you know, I don't think it's fair to come out and have air. fair. Then they fair. What's wrong with you? I, you know, I, I get I it. I don't think it's right for that guy to just throw that out there without just more to back it up. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Who? You know, I'm asking for fairness on the Internet. What the f I think, you know, you're not going to get that. But, but you know. It, but it, you should be it, able to it, sue somebody for doing that. Yeah, de for defamation. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know what? Maybe he will. Maybe he will. But I'm looking at the internet for fairness. I'm like, what am I talking about? But ideally, yes, you know, people should be fair and not sit back and take, you know, the word of a f tweet. 
<laughs> you know, a tweet. <laughs> Not even somebody, you know, getting on and saying it, you know, you did, it's from their mouth. Somebody just wrote a tweet. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous. This could be the beginning of something, or this could just be someone who has beef with him. He's like, yeah. Him. And, right. and it means nothing. You know, maybe nothing will come of this, but that's all, this is all old shit, you know? Yeah. Like, this is from like almost four years ago now. Shit, y'all putting ropes around our necks and trying to lynch us too at this moment. <laughs> just because we said we want to be fair. You know, we see this several times. We said this over and over again with different things. Yeah. And everybody just like, well, you're not mad like me. That's why I can't listen to these guys anymore. Yeah. That's what it always comes down to. And your ass ain't stopped listening. These, these guys are so out of touch. I can't listen to them anymore. Yeah, you maybe one fair. more time just to make sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Hate listening still counts as listening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> your ass ain't gone anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody said, fair is the enemy of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell y'all. Yeah, I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't, I don't care what the outcome is one way or the other. Uh, but this whole um, guilty by just allegation needs to stop. Yeah. I yeah. hope it's not true, though, because he... I. I, I've never watched like an entire one of his streams, but I've seen clips and like I, I think that he's kind of funny. He has some good bits, you know, and he knows what he's talking about. I think he has history working on Call of Duty games, so he has a lot of insight when he's talking about the mm -hmm. games. But I don't, I'm, I'm with you 100%. Like if you're going to accuse him, drop some screenshots. Otherwise, shut up. Yes. If you make an accusation, show evidence. If they don't show evidence, stop being ready to. Light a torch, mm -hmm. go out there with a, picking up a pitchfork and going out there with the rest of the crowd. Have some kind, have some fucking sense. Hell, if nothing else, yeah, you, know, you know what? Be the opposite of him. Be doctor respect. Respect yourself. <laughs> you know? Respect yourself. I yeah. mean, it's the, yeah. no, you no, really no, make no, yourself no, look no, bad no, when you go out yeah, there and do be that. A, be a person. Be an individual. Don't just follow the crowd. Yeah. Jump on shit just to get your tweet in and have some clout. Nobody's reading it. Exactly. They, they, they get a chuckle. They might hit the like and then they move on. You, you're not getting famous from that. Yeah, I know. I know you like a villain up there, looking like a redneck Omni Man. You know, I know. <laughs> I know, but that, that's a character. You know, I know he's done some, and it's funny because they want to hold that other, the, all the other controversies against him. That doesn't count, okay? Yeah, it, uh, that doesn't. <laughs> well, he did that shit. Nah, hey, we we talking about this shit. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, come on, well, man. If he'll make a joke like that, he'll rape a little kid. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 the internet it, do be like that sometimes. You don't worry, it don't work like that. <laughs> oh shit. Boy. <laughs> Just a, hey, he went from sex in the mire to being a child rapist. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. Well, they gonna, they, I mean, we keep going like this, they're gonna come out of that dog one day. <laughs> right? Well, you saw that picture was posing naked with yeah, thing hanging uh -huh. out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they lingered on that dog penis a long time. <laughs> you know he did something. <laughs> I mean, look at him. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's by his face. <laughs> I, I never trusted that dog. <laughs> Come to think of it, he kind of looks like Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that nose is like a Hitler mustache yeah. upside down. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Who's with me? Hey. Grab your pitchforks and Mountain Dew. <laughs> Cancel the dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like what we do. So if you do, check out these other videos just like this one. Check out our other YouTube channels and subscribe to join our wonderful Toasty community. And as always, stay toasty.